Rescuers are hoping to find more survivors from the Huruma building rubble after pulling out a woman alive this afternoon, six days after the house went down under heavy rains. Pius Masai, who is coordinating the search and rescue operation, says the woman had no physical injuries but will be examined further at the Kenyatta National Hospital where she is admitted. Uh, the rescuing of the, the lady, uh, it has inspired us uh, so much that even you didn't take, take any lunch, you didn't take anything. We are just doing the work without minding. Uh, but the purpose was to, within the, the, the shortest time as we could manage, balancing the safety of the, the, the lady and the safety of the rescuers. As you are aware that uh, when you are doing the drilling, the machines are making a lot of noise. But imagine we could hear the sound inside the debris, uh, the debris whereby the, the, the lady uh, made some noise whereby the, uh, the, the, the commander of the defense uh, uh, does a response team who realized that there's a human life down there. Whereby, after the establishing communications, and uh, he realized that he needed to uh, uh, re, re, uh, replan his uh, strategies to uh, enable him get uh, the avenue outside, which he did, and he confirmed to me that, uh, please, the inst uh, instant commander, uh, plan the medication, we, we confirmed there's a human being down there. The delicate operation took more than four hours from the time they heard screams from a corner where she was trapped, forcing officials to abandon a press conference and rush to the scene. Huruma residents who camped at the site broke into tears of joy as the rescuers whirled her out to a Kenya Red Cross ambulance. The hell for Lafa. Oh, Yahweh, you are the only God. You are the only God. We want to thank you because this is a sign that God you have said that Kenya will be a right of the world. Hapa tuko na manyumba mengi na hatutaki tuzione tena. Hatutaki kuzione. Yote yenye mewekwa alama, hata zile zenye ziko kipchoi, zote zipo molewe. Sababu we are suffering and they are sleeping in the houses and they are laughing and they are eating and they cannot even accommodate even one person. Hawa wezi kupati hata mmoja accommodation. It is the second person to be rescued alive since last week after a toddler was pulled out earlier in the week and taken to hospital following the incident that has left 36 people dead so far. I'm an Eaton Dairy for Capital TV.